Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 23493. This is a big build for the dev channel that includes a lot of new interesting features, and I think this is a great one, so get your snacks ready and watch the following minutes from this video. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This this video is sponsored by HitPod Video Converter. With HitPod Video Converter, you can convert to and from more than a thousand video slash audio formats. You even have the ability to apply simple edits to the files such as cut, merge, and more. Using HitPod Video Converter, you can also burn video or audio to DVD. To compress videos using the software, you need to select the video slash image compressor from the toolbox. You will need to select the video and the level of compression that you want before clicking the compress button. The end result is very good with little to no quality loss. Download HitPod Video converter from the links in the description below. Let's continue with the video. First of all, Microsoft is introducing the Windows Copilot AI Assistant preview. Basically, we've talked about this. Windows Copilot is the new AI Assistant that we will have in Windows 11, and this is slowly rolling out. Maybe I'm going to make an updated video on how to enable this because this is slowly rolling out. But how this is working, you get this new icon in the taskbar, which says Copilot and has the Windows Copilot icon along with the preview section. If you click on it, Windows Copilot will be opening up. It has a nice little animation. It's a little bit delayed at the moment, but of course, we're not complaining too much because this is a first preview of this. And Windows Copilot is using AI to help you do certain stuff. For example, in this first preview, you can ask Windows Copilot a range of questions or to take actions such as take a screenshot. So for example, let's type in here, take a screenshot, press enter. And as you can see, it is automatically opening up the snipping tool and we can just take the screenshot really easily. I think this is great. And along with that, you can do other stuff such as change to dark mode, turn on do not disturb, summarize this website, write a story, make a picture or something like that. It's pretty useful in my opinion. Microsoft is also advising users that have this preview to click on these three dots and then click on send feedback in order to send feedback about certain issues that they have and certain problems that they face. The minimum requirements for this is the build 23493, which is this one or higher. And also the Microsoft Edge version 115019.150 or higher. As I've said, this is slow rolling out, but maybe I'm going to make an in-depth video on how to enable this in the following days. And of course, make sure to leave a comment below stating your opinion on this. Microsoft is also introducing the new settings homepage. This is again slowly rolling out. I don't have it on this machine, but you're going to have a screenshot from the official Microsoft website. And this offers you a dynamic and personalized experience. It provides an overview of your device, quick access to key settings, and helps manage your Microsoft account. And you're going to have certain cards such as recommended settings, cloud storage, account recovery, personalization, Microsoft 365 Xbox Bluetooth devices. I think this is pretty interesting and of course I'm going to make an in-depth video in the following days if I find a way to manually enable this as it is slowly rolling out. Another interesting new thing that Microsoft is testing and working on is restore for more apps. Adding to the capabilities of the backup and restore improvements Microsoft announced in May, this build extends support to even more types of apps. User will now see pins for their desktop apps restored on the taskbar and startup menu including desktop apps apps that were not installed from the Microsoft Store. To try out this experience, both the backup and restore devices need to be updated to this build once you've backed up either via the new Windows Backup app or by visiting account in Windows Backup and Settings. You can try out the new restore during the out-of-box experience OB when setting up a new PC or by resetting an existing PC from Settings, System Recovery and reset this PC with this build. Another huge thing is that Microsoft is introducing native support for reading additional archive file formats. Yes, we're finally getting this tar tar gz tar bz2 tar zst tar xz tbz tbz2 tzst txz rar and 7zip plus more are now officially supported by the default archiving tool in windows 11 and i think this is great news also we're getting a new volume mixer experience in quick settings microsoft also added a new enhanced volume mixer into quick settings the updated audio quick settings experience brings a modern volume mixer that allows for quick customization of audio on a per app basis with additional control to swap devices on the fly. And I think that is pretty nice. Microsoft also added a new keyboard shortcut with Control plus V to bring you directly to the volume mixer for faster control of your experience. More info about this, of course, in the article below in the video description. Along with that, we're getting narrator natural voices in Japanese and English, Great British. More info about this in the article below if you're interested in this. Other changes and improvements, we have a new functionality for mitigating unrequested modifications for app defaults as mentioned in a previous 
previous blog post from their Microsoft website are also included in this build. And also regarding the taskbar and system tray, the updated API for pinning, as mentioned in a previous blog post from Microsoft, are now included in this build as a preview. Microsoft is also introducing the new Snap Layout experience, which allows you to quickly snap windows related to the apps that you have currently opened, and you have certain recommendations in, on how to snap the apps. I think this is great. And also regarding the File Explorer, Microsoft is doing some work to improve the performance of our have functionality during compression on Windows. This is basically all there is to it regarding changes and improvements in this build, but we also have a few fixes, a general fix, they fix an underlying issue which was causing explorer.exe crashes when doing a variety of things in the last two builds, including when uninstalling apps. Regarding the dev drive, Microsoft fixed an issue where symbolic links might not work correctly when using dev drive. Regarding the file explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue where the count shown for selected files in the details pane may have been extremely large. Regarding the new details pane, they fixed an issue where the details pane was flashing white in dark mode, navigating or resizing the file explorer window. Regarding the new address bar, they fixed an issue where the delete key was sometimes not working in file explorer, including when doing shift plus delete. And also regarding the new home in file explorer, file type icons were displayed in place of file thumbnails for recommended section applicable to enterprise users. Insider signed in with an AED account and tried to navigate the recommended section on file explorer home with the tab key on the keyboard might have experienced an explorer.exe crash and also when navigating from another group to the recommended section using a keyboard focus did not appear on the group header or files appropriately regarding the taskbar and system tray they fixed multiple explorer.exe crashes that were impacting taskbar reliability and they also fixed an issue where when using uncombined taskbar that was causing focus to get lost when moving from the taskbar previews back to the taskbar icons related to the search on the taskbar they fixed an issue impacting search reliability for some insiders in the last two flights. Related to the task manager, they fixed an issue where it wasn't possible to move the task manager window with touch or pen. Regarding dynamic lighting, they fixed an issue where device icons were missing from the device cards and settings. And also related to Windows Inc, they fixed an issue where users were unable to use handwriting to erase text in Microsoft Edge. And basically, this is it for this build. If you want to check out the whole list of known issues in this build, you can check the article below in the video description where you will also have the official Microsoft blog post that you can check out. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.